year was good, man. There's a lot of good things going on. Um, when we got Cowboys, they ended up, got a lot of great Cowboys. And I was like, when I looked at that list, I was like, this is going to be good. I can't wait for it. So now we just waiting on the time is. We waiting on everybody to get here. We getting phone calls now. People coming from out of town, all over the place. And we're going to wait and drag the arena, make it look pretty, mark our barrels and stuff for barrel racing. Finish putting these banners up, getting horses situated. We're gonna start running cows through the shoot and stuff, but I love it. It's a work of art, but I love it. I love it. I can't do nothing else but rodeo. It's a good free vacation. Cause you get paid doing it too. So that's what I like about it. I've been up since about 7.30 this morning. I met with the guy over the arena, get this stuff situated and set up. And I came in and started setting up banners and stuff. And sitting out here trying to figure out what we was gonna put them in, but I think this probably gonna be the best one. Uh, and then we got a couple more we set up down on the end. We're gonna get those straightened up and fixated. And then we got a couple of them down on the road. I'm check those uh, bucking shoes, make sure those slide panels work. You know, so our bulls and horses can go in there and get situated and get taken care of. I'm gonna go check on the horse in a minute. Make sure he good to go. But I'm tired though. I'm beyond tired. Alright, let's go. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, Terrell. Hey, go ahead. Come on. Let's go. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, follow me, let's go. Let's go. Let's, I know, let's go, come on, let's go. Follow the leader, follow the leader. Cowboys and cowgirls from all over the country, ladies and gentlemen, y'all check them out. Wave at them as they go by. Y'all get on that gate over there. Go on, get on that gate over there. Get on that gate over there. You got to be kidding me. You must have had your thumb out. Oh, that's what it was. <laughs> My name is John Trail Irvin, and I'm the uh, DJ. Who we got? Who, who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Previous years has been a blast. I've enjoyed it from the time I came through the gates to the time I left out of the gates. Um, Jalen is a real good friend of mine and I met him probably maybe eight or nine years ago and uh, he's a good guy and he told me about this event that he wanted to do with uh, Sickle Cell Rodeo and that really made me just want to come and be a part of it. <laughs> nod his head to let him know he's ready to open the gate. And here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. Ride him, cowboy. Y'all give, give him some noise. Give him some noise. Ah! All right. My name is Damon James, and my role is supporting my son because he supported me because I have sickle cell. My name is Kernisha James. I'm here supporting my stepson and my husband for the sickle cell right here. I think, um, we got involved with the rodeo because 
Of course, Jalen is into horses, and when I started dating his father, that's, that's what my love for horses came along. Um, we've always gone to sickle cell events, and we've always gone to rodeos. So he decided, okay, well, I'm not, I'll take my love for the rodeo and raise an awareness for sickle cell because there's not a lot of fun events that support sickle cell. The only thing we have to support sickle cell is normally like sickle cell walks or runs. So he decided to do a rodeo and I think it's the, maybe the first of his kind. So I thought that was a good idea. So when he said he wanted to do it, I was like, whatever role you need me to play, whatever you want to do, that's a good idea. We'll support you in any way. Uh, my name is Jalen James and I'm a rodeo producer. Okay, all right, so if we got um, bucking horses or bucking bulls and their temperament too bad and they not standing in the shoot right, we would give the uh, bronc rider or bull rider the option to draw out or get a re-ride and pick another horse and we'll turn that horse out in the arena and just put him back in the back pen. Now, if our own horse is acting up, then we just add a look, take him back to the trailer, tie him up, they even let them be, you just, you just out of money. That's just how it is. And now you got to go back to square one and go back to the practice pen and work on it. Do a young man, check him out. And he got a six second ride, we waiting on the time. And he's opening the gate and here he comes. Y'all get that cowboy around, oh! Give him a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to start with the age group. You got from five years old up to 16. And then you got, I call them the old heads, and then you got the uh, right, normal right. age group, you know, 20, 20. You know, a lot of these guys, that, uh, they're like 40, 50, some of them 60 years old and they still rodeo. Um, you're gonna see a lot of bucking horses, you're gonna see bucking bulls, roping calves. Wow, that cowboy gets a no time. Y'all give him a round of applause. Give him a hand clap, ladies and gentlemen. That's all he's gonna be able to take home tonight. All right, that cowboy gave a nod of his head and he come, ladies and gentlemen. All right, the calves made a circle on him, but it ain't over yet. That cowboy got a rope on him. Can he get him up? He has to pick him up first before he can throw him down. All right, here that cowboy comes, ladies and gentlemen. Got a good running pad. Can he do it? He's got the rope around his neck. Now he's throwing at him, ladies and gentlemen. Got on the wrong side of the rope. Can't get him a little problem. But he's not giving up. All right. Uh, growing up, through the years, I always wanted to rodeo, and then I started ranch bronc riding, I was riding bucking horses, and then I gravitated from that to announcing rodeo, so that's what I do and now. It's just, I'm whole hog, full fledged man. Wow! Right behind the head, he just gave that calf a headache. Junior Breakaway Roping, y'all up next. He's anxious, he's ready to go. And he's dying. Here he comes, ladies and gentlemen, give that cowboy round. And he gets a no time. All right. Fred Mayberry. Jerry Harvey, get it on your mind. And then Fred Mitchell, you'll come right behind him on the rerun. Fred Mitchell. And he gave the nod. And he went for broke. Oh, yeah. The loose around the cab thing. Ready for the barrier. And he gave the nod. And here comes Jerry, ladies and gentlemen. Wow! He thought he had him, but the calf got away. Calf roping, Mr. Fred Mitchell, all the way out of Alabama. Ready for the barrier? And he gave the nod. And here comes Jerry, ladies and gentlemen. Wow! He thought he had him, but the calf got away on his rerun. These calves don't believe in running straight. Oh, man. And Fred got a no time. He gave a nod. These hands is really wrong. Ah, oh, that cowboy gets a no time. And here he comes. Wow. That cowboy gets a no time. Uh, my name is Keith Burnett Jr. Um, I'm currently with the staff or crew, as you would say, um, helping my buddy out. Uh, we've been friends for about 18 years, so I'm helping him out any way he needs, you know, anywhere he needs help. 
I've been on a horse since I was in diapers. Uh, I'm not saying I'm no expert horseman. I can always learn something, but I've been around them all my life. Uh, to this day, my baby loves it, so, you know, and uh, I trained a little roping back in high school, never competed or anything like that. And now I've just recently gotten back into it within the last year or so. Just a side hobby, you know, I'm not trying to hit the road or anything like that, but something to spend time and pass time and bring my family around, so. But I've been 29 now, so it's going on 28, 29 years I've been on the horse yet. So. That it is! That's the sign of Jacob James, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, yo, yeah, can y'all hear me? Once again, I want to thank each and every last one of you guys for coming out. Now, we're going to do something special for a cowboy that was a good friend of mine, a dear friend of mine. And when we first introduced Bucking Horses to this rodeo, he won first place and took home all the money. So y'all give a big round of applause. I know he's in heaven listening down on y'all. So you guys, give us just a brief second. We're gonna go ahead and get everything situated and set up with this bucking horse. What we're gonna do, we're gonna turn out a bucking horse in memory of BJ who lost his life a couple of months ago due to gun violence, which is very, very sad. But you guys, when this bucking horse comes out, I want y'all to make as much noise as y'all can. Can y'all do that for me? Yeah! All right, so. One more quick thing, when we go to our intermission, we got something special for uh, some special people, so y'all get ready for that, okay? Oh, you wanna go and do that now? You wanna do that? All right, um, real quick, real quick. We're gonna um, give away this glass plaque. Let me see your mic. Glass plaque. Yeah, we're gonna give away this glass plaque in memory of BJ. That was one of my good friends, you guys. And he was a real true cowboy and a jockey. So where's mommy? There she go. Here you go, sweetheart. We're going to get this to you, okay? There she go. Once again, you guys, I want to thank you guys for coming out and supporting the third annual Run Sick and Sale in the Dirt. You guys, y'all give us a brief second. DJ Newsy, hype this thing up one good time. We're going to get ready to go ahead and get some bucking horses going in just a little bit, all right? DJ Newsy, take us out. Yes, my daughter was diagnosed with a sickle cell. She's a sickle cell patient. Um, it's something that Every now and then, you know, she gets a little sick from it. And, uh, but with the grace of God, she's been healthy since the pandemic. We only had like one little crisis or whatever. And um, everything else has been, has been good. Well, you know, like I said, uh, coming from a rodeo background, you know, that's all I wanted to do. I was sitting at the table with my partner who helps put this rodeo on. And I was like, hey, let's put on a rodeo. And she was like, okay, we could do it. And I said, well, Maybe we could do one for sickle cell. And she was like, yeah, and I was like, run sickle cell in the dirt rodeo. She's like, what? I said, run sickle cell in the dirt rodeo. And so that's how we got it. And this rodeo started in 2016, and we bringing it back, COVID happened, so we had to put it on pause, but we bringing it back. And I feel like this year is gonna be better than ever. All right, there you go, y'all. Hype it up, hype it up. Hype it up, hype it up. Dismounted without the pickup man. Alright. Alright, now I'm getting 
get rid of this ranch road rider. Dante Turner. All right, he's ready, and there he goes. Dante is riding, ladies and gentlemen. He's bugging him out. Oh, he's playing him on. He's riding that dog, ladies and gentlemen. And an eight-second ride for that cowboy. Sickle cell is a blood disease where um, it's classified, I think, in hospitals or in clinics, I think it's classified as a cancer. But um, it, when you're coming into a crisis, it's where your blood is normally round and it flows through your vein. Well, when, it, when you're going through a sickle cell crisis, it becomes crescent shaped, like a crescent shaped moon, and it jams up in your veins and causes really, really excruciating pain. And that's what the sickle cell, the, that's where it gets its name from. The sickle cell blood is it, it, where it gets the name from. And that's what causes the pain because it can't flow. Oh, he's coming out of the shame face and he don't want to see the crowd. And there it is, the eight second ride for that cowboy. We've always had problems with the mother-in-law. They call this horse the mother-in-law. And the pain is no joke. I mean, I wouldn't wish that on anyone. So if they have sickle cell, be careful. And it's all I mean. Oh, that cowboy held on just for the moment. Can't wait for the night. You got it. There's the any parts of the body. So any part with blood flow, you will have pain. And I didn't experience pain throughout my whole body. Okay, I had it all my whole life, but didn't find out that it was sickle cell until the age of 13. I was tested and found out I had sickle cell at the age of 13 and been dealing with it pretty much my whole life, but found out at the age of 13 that I had it and, and it went from there. I think it's great for kids, you know. Uh, it keeps them out of trouble for the most part. You're gonna have, you know, the bad apples everywhere, but at the same time, it's a family atmosphere. Um, the camaraderie, everybody gets along for the most part. You know, it just, it's a good family atmosphere to have your family around. I, I feel safe having my babies around that. I grew up going to rodeos and, you know, traveling with family members who competed in rodeos and all that all my life, and it's, I, I wouldn't trade it for anything. If I go back and do it again, I would. And it's something I look forward to, you know, raising my kid and keeping my family around. So.
once again, you guys, I want to thank each and every last one of you for coming out and uh, supporting this rodeo. Is that mic on? Don't cut it on, don't cut it on. All right. Once again, y'all, we're going to let kids 10 and under get in the arena right after this and pull a tape off the back of a, um, a cow tail. Uh, where she at? Where she at? Where she at? Nene, where you supposed to stay? Come here. 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 Um, yeah. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, like I got a small backstory about this young lady right here. Why is this mic doing it? Somebody so, gotta yeah, do better than me. Um, y'all, I put this rodeo on back in 2016. My dad got sick of sale and I liked the rodeo. And I was like, hey, let's do it for sickle sale. And I had two families that were special and dear to my heart. Um, they lost their baby, their child, due to this horrible disease. And so at this time, I want to present this uh, to baby boy Gavin's mother. And this is just a plaque that says he's always loved, never forgotten, and always in our hearts. So we just want to give her this. I told her this about a year ago. I had something special for her. She was like, don't make me cry. And y'all, guess where we was? We was at a Jackson State party. I just want to give her that. I really do appreciate you for coming out. The other family didn't make it, so um, they, they had a family emergency back in Alabama, so we're going to mail it or send it back to them. So I really do appreciate her for coming and sitting by my side since 2016. So you guys, y'all give her another round of applause. I really appreciate that. All right, you will. You are so well. Hey, we got the dad here too. Look oh, dad. dad right here. I didn't know. I'm sorry, y'all. Dad too. He, he, yeah, yeah. So he got that too. So y'all give him a round of applause. Y'all, y'all clap it up. Oh, let me get it. Oh, we got. Oh, this is grandmama right here. Yeah. So, hey. All right. Uh, I got one more. Uh, da, 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 da. Mr. Tyron Fox, where you at? Come in the ring for me. Um, this young man that's walking in the arena, I know it's going to be, man, I appreciate you. Um, I know it's, it's going to sound kind of weird, but this young man has been my best friend for a long, long time. And uh, he started a mortuary service, me and him in the funeral home business together. And uh, he's the owner and operator of First Choice Mortuary. He has served a lot of you guys' family at Jackson Memorial. He's a licensed funeral director and head embalmer. So he does a lot of behind the scenes work when somebody passed away. And I'm not trying to freak y'all out or anything. But I had asked him, I said, hey man, would you like to give a donation to the rodeo? And without hesitation, he said, I call you right back. And he called me back and he pulled up. I ain't gonna tell you how much he gave me, but he, sponsored just about the whole rodeo. So you guys, we just we just want to present this to him tonight, y'all. There you go, Mr. Fox. I really appreciate you. Oh. Okay, wait. Get him first now. Yeah. And Mr. T hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, give him a hat so he can take a picture with the hat on. <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all. So I think that's gonna be it. I have a few folks missing here. Uh, come on, let's take it. Boy, you don't know how to put a hat on your head. You know, we under a lot of pressure. I see. Golly. All right, um, you guys, once again, I thank each and every last one of you. Christy, I don't know where she at, but she helped me put this rodeo on, and she, um, she over there eating. Lord have mercy. But uh, she had death in the family, so she's going through a lot, so y'all pray for her. But I really do appreciate her. That was my backbone. Miss Joni up in the announcer booth, our secretary, Terry, our stock contractors, our rodeo announcer, Spanky, everybody. I really do appreciate you guys. Um, we have a representative from the Mississippi Sickle Cell Foundation. We're going to take care of them. We gave them a big, we're going to give them a big donation. We just haven't counted down yet because y'all ain't finna bomb rush her and take her money. So, um, 
You guys, I really do appreciate you guys. I really do. Oh, let's give a shout out to Hair Loud Film. Y'all, this is going to be a documented rodeo. So y'all be looking for that. It's going to be on YouTube and wherever else they put it on. So I appreciate y'all. They've been on my foot all morning. So you guys, I really do thank you. I really do thank you. Uh, kids 10 and under, come on to the rodeo arena. We finna do a cattle scramble. Pull the tape off, you're going to get a couple dollars. Kids and then we got this thing called a uh, cattle scramble, kids 10 and under. They get in the arena, chase a baby cow, a calf around the arena, pull the tape off, and whoever wins, you know, $25 something like that. All right, here they go, y'all. Here they go. Did they run over you, Spanky? Yeah, they got me. Run, run, man. I, 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 Contestants that win, their first place, some some rodeo companies give buckle and money. We're giving buckles and money, like most companies, you know. But first place is gonna get first place money, and they're gonna get the buckle. Then second place is gonna get money. Third place get money. Then everybody else. It's just like a gamble. So it's 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 get down in the dirt, toughest of the toughest. Basically, that's how this is gonna work out today. The rodeo is for a good cause, of course, raising money for sickle cell, raising sickle cell awareness. But um, if you're not one of those people that like the dirt, you know, there's, you know, or like to get dirty. There's still some other fun things to do, fun activities to do. But sometimes it just feels good to come out, get your hands dirty, you know, have some good family fun. It's very family oriented. Bring the kids out. They can play games, eat good, and just have a good time. Watch the animals. You can watch it from afar. You don't have to touch them. It's very exciting. You see the um, little small kids normally participating in the events. They're so cute to watch. Uh, have one year we had the uh, the kids riding goats or the uh, midget bulls and ponies. So it, it's always fun and, and cute to watch that. You see the women riding horses. They do just as well as the men with the barrel races. So that's fun to watch. So it, it's just all around good event for a good cause. I think it's amazing. Uh, you see people throwing benefits for everything every everywhere all over the country, but. You know, Jalen's always been like that. He wants to help somebody, you know, whether he can or not, he's going to try his best to, you know, do it. Uh, he brought the idea up years ago. He was like, hey, man, you know, I know his father has sickle cell, so, you know, he takes it a little more personal. Um, but years ago, he, he said he wanted to do it, and he's one of the ones. He said he's going to do something, he's going to do it. So I, I think it's a great cause. I think it's really good, you know. And whether you have 20 people, 1,000 people come out, you know, it's, it's still the thought of, hey, I'm actually doing this for a foundation, so that's, that's awesome. One bow down. Oh, they're pushing them. Oh! It ain't over yet. Yes, I used to compete all the time. I'm all right, we're gonna take a break just to to it. I got to you know, drop a few pounds and get back in shape because you have guys from Louisiana, Mississippi, Texas, Arkansas, Oklahoma. These guys come to do it. They take it serious. They travel these roads all weekend to win money. So if you're not on point, you just donate. And I don't like to donate no money. For me, I think I've always loved horses since I was little because they've always been so pretty to me. But I've never actually been around them very much. Although we're from the country, I've never been around them just firsthand again until I started dating his dad. And so that's when I started to ride a little bit and learn how to, to learn how to ride. And I've just been enjoying it ever since. And that's been probably since maybe 2012, 2013, something like that. So. It's been good. Me, I've been around horses pretty much my whole life. My uncle started us to ride horses, and I gave it up until my son wanted to get back in horses, so I got back in it. And been with it ever since, and I love it.
Here comes this cowgirl. She's bringing it to the house. Y'all check it out. And she's bringing it in. Got to get it, baby. Not only am I an announcer, I'm a singer, too. I'm going to sing a solo for the night, though. I'm going to sing solo, you can Well, um, working with, let's just say, a, a roping horse, which is what I got. Sometimes it'll take a year, sometimes it'll take two years uh, to get a roping horse all the way 10-10 like you want them to where you can trust them, get on the rope, and you know you're going to try to walk away with some money in your pocket. And when it comes to bucking horses and bucking bulls, some, they are trained like that, and it, it just varies. It just depends on the horse or it depends on the bull. Some are good. And some are bad, they just rotate them out or sell them and get rid of them, but a lot of bucking horses, bucking bulls, they're trained to buck for eight seconds and then they know their job, it, it, just like an athlete. Destiny Woods. Went a little wide on the first barrel. And going to the second barrel. Uh, cutting close, and here we go, going to the last barrel. They're gonna bring back to the house. Uh, good pattern, let's go, let's go, let's go. And there it is. Check out Avery Knight, and she's bringing it home. Ride him, go to it. That is 17.5. Y'all check out, crowd, let's give her a hand, give her a hand. Y'all check this young lady out. You gotta learn somewhere, this is where it begins. She's doing a great job. She's small, but she's doing it. That's what it's all about right there. You gotta start them off young. Give them something to do. All right. All right, there he goes. There he goes. All right. Y'all check out this young lady. Small, but wanting to do it. First team for a buddy barrel pickup. First team for buddy barrel pickup is Cedrica Mitchell and Dante Turner. Second team, Michael Owen and Matt Miller. Y'all get it ready. All right. That's what I'm talking about, Mom. All right. The ones that's going to be on the barrel, go ahead and go to that end. The one that's going to be on the barrel, go ahead and be on that end. All right, y'all check out this exhibition run. All right, she's going to bring them to the house now, y'all. Check it out. Y'all give her a hand. Come on with it. Come on, crowd. Give her a hand. All right. He said, and if you missed right, this event, we should have another one next year. If you don't be there, be square. <laughs> next year, put it on your calendar. You need to be here. This is one that you do not want to miss. It's good excitement from the time it starts till it, till it ends. Be here. <laughs> they trying it. All right, here he comes. Here he comes. First team, Des Hesley and Terry Knight. Des Hesley 
and Terry Knight. Second team, Ryan Bibb and R.J. Hunt. Ryan Bibb and R.J. Hunt, those are the first two teams. First team right here, ladies and gentlemen. And here they go. The one is gonna catch his head. Ah, he missed him. That team will get a no time. 938 plus five. 938 plus five. 938 plus five. All right, Zach Brock and Wyatt Cooper. Zach Brock, Wyatt Cooper, then Fred Mitchell and Dante Turner. He's going at the calf, he's running real fast. And he's got his head going for the feet. And he has both. And they got a time of eight flat. Wow, that team did it, eight flat. Yes, that team did it. All right. Uh, I can say y'all, y'all miss Michelle. Y'all, y'all miss some fun times. Um, we know some people can't make it. They want to. You know, you're here in our hearts. You're, you're here to support. But at the same time, y'all missing out. So you know, look forward to bigger and better. And uh, after a while, I feel like if this keeps going on, he's gonna have to expand, and we're gonna have to find more space. So y'all definitely keep looking forward. He's not quitting. I'm not quitting. Long as we, I'm there for him. So we're we're gonna keep it kicking. So. Sam and Dirt Rodeo, I'm just telling you, you miss a lot of great cowboys, cowgirls, even our funny man Spanky Avery Ford from Fort Worth, Texas. And when we have the fourth annual Run Sick and Sell in the Dirt Rodeo, I'm telling you, it's something that you don't want to miss. We're going to put in a live band like we did the second year. This year we couldn't do it, but guess what? We're going to bring them back. We're going to have fun. So if you missed out these past three years, come on back. Come on back. Next year, 2020. Three? Yeah, 2023. Come on back.